Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Crash and today I have a tier list for you guys. It's a manga magazine tier list. If you don't know what a manga magazine is, it's one of these. So normally manga chapters aren't published in the volumes that we tend to buy here. You know, like the, the things normally on my back. No, they tend to come first in these. These are compilations of, of series. Uh, of various series, like for example this one is of course Weekly Shonen Jump, the most famous one that has One Piece. Yeah, today we're gonna be looking at a lot of different manga magazines because there's a lot more than people may even think they are. I, I checked out and I had read at least manga from 120 different manga magazines. So what I decided to do was to shorten it to the magazines that I'd read at least three different manga from. And that put the, the total number to about 34 manga magazines, which is the ones that are here. I have on my phone a list, so I can actually know the titles because it's very hard to see from, from that. Uh, and actually a list of all the, the manga that I read from those, uh, from those magazines, so I can uh, rank them based on that roster. So it's, it's gonna be a flawed, list because i haven't read everything that the manga has to offer the magazines have to offer and on a lot of cases i haven't even read the most popular titles but um hopefully it will still be fun and if you like manga magazines i also have something that i will be opening a little bit later on this video which was sent to me by today's sponsor which is shrine comics but we'll get into that uh again in a little bit so let's jump into the list you can see the first couple of, of titles are part of a major line and then the others are kind of like loose manga magazines. Only manga magazines that I've read at least three titles from, that means that some of these I have read the spin-offs, or the spin-offs will be here, but the main titles won't. So that is something to have in mind. So let's jump into it. So we're gonna start with Weekly Shonen Jump. I mean, it's, it's the main one, it's the one that I own something of. Uh, and contrary to all the others, like I said, I was going to mention which, which titles I've read from the magazines. I'm not going to be able to, to name all the titles that I've read from Weekly Shonen Jump because they are either close to 100 or even past 100 at this point. This has to be S tier for me. If, if you have been part of the channel, if you've even just looked at the main page of the channel, you'll notice that a lot of the content is based on Weekly Shonen Jump. A lot of the stuff that I do, a lot of stuff that I read is from Weekly Shonen Jump. I'm just really in love with the story and the the manga that it has are all like major it's of course not there's a lot of like canceled manga that are quite bad there's a lot of serializations that aren't really that good and there's honestly only two titles that i've ever ranked 10 out of 10 which are uh one piece and chainsaw man part one it's not like a manga magazine just stock full of of 10 out of 10s but because of the history that it has in the manga market, because of the history that it has with me, and with pretty much everyone else that gotten into anime and manga, I think a lot of us have grown up with at least one or two or five Shonen Jump titles, even if it's Dragon Ball, Naruto, you know, One Piece again, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Slam Dunk, I don't know, there's so many titles that were part of our childhood. Um, that I, I have to put it on S tier. It, it's kind of unfair to compare it even with others because most of the other titles I've read three to five manga from. And again, Shun Jump, I've read, you know, close to 100 titles. It is not comparable. Uh, it is unfair, but it needs to be an S tier. We're gonna skip through that. We're gonna go into Jump Plus, which I think a lot of people nowadays would rank it above Weekly Shonen Jump. It has titles like uh, Kaiju Number no. 8, Spy Family, Down to Down, uh, that are quite big. Uh, in terms of the titles that I've read, uh, I've read, so Ayakashi Triangle is now part of Shonen Jump uh, Plus, I've read Deadpool Samurai, Chainsaw Man Part 2 is currently ongoing, the Dragon Ball Isekai, which is also from Jump Plus, Emperor to Ishu, Fire Punch, Three Days of Happiness, uh, Asura, Kosaki-chan, Spy Family, The Parody of Promised Neverland, and Friend Eater Classroom, and I think I read another one that I am forgetting. There's a lot of like really good titles. I think 
it, it gets hyped up by the big ones. I, Friend of the Classroom really isn't that good. And I think there's a lot of like titles that I see there that don't seem to be that great. I haven't read them, so I don't know. I still think that the, most of what I read, especially, you know, Fire Punch is, is amazing. Three Days of Happiness I wasn't that big on. I know a lot of people are. Uh, the Dragon Ball is just uh, a dumb spin-off, but yeah, I think, and, and Samurai, uh, not Samurai, uh, Chainsaw Man Part 2 is, it's been amazing so far. Um, I don't, I don't want to put it in S tier, because I don't have the connection with it that I have with, with, um, Weekly Shonen Jump, but I'm definitely going to put it top of A, so far. Uh, and then we have Young Jump, or, uh, Weekly Young Jump, I was going to say monthly, it's not monthly, it's Weekly Young Jump. There is no monthly Young Jump, uh, at least not anymore. And this is the Seinen magazine from from Shonen Jump. It, it's not Seinen Jump, it's Young Jump. You're gonna see that there's a lot of like young something which are, are the Shonen, uh, sorry, the Seinen magazines. So this one I read, All You Need Is Kill, Blue Evan, Elfen Lead, Guns, Innocent, and Sky High. I don't think Young Jump is the best um, Seinen magazine. I don't, I don't think, like, compared to how much I like Shonen Jump compared to the other Shonen magazines that we're going to be talking about in this list, that is definitely not the case with Young Jump. I think there's a lot of really good, really strong seinen magazines that kind of kick Young Jump. Uh, despite, I think, Young Jump still being one of the best-selling, I mean, I know it's one of the top 10 best-selling manga magazines. I'm not sure if it's the best-selling seinen magazine and you know it has good titles i think gantz is is probably the the highlight all you need skills is also pretty cool and innocent is also really good blue evan wasn't that good sky high was okay both of, both of these are about the same mangaka I forgot his name then elfin lead is kind of a, a bit of a dud but i don't think even then it has the quality of of some seinen magazines that we're going to be seeing uh later down the line so i'm gonna put this one on b and then we got ultra jump which is another seinen magazine uh from jump this one is monthly the one big big title that i haven't read that is from ultra jump that a lot of people will probably recognize is jojo uh part seven eight and now nine as of today uh they am recording at least uh, part 9 just started in Ultra Jump, so yeah, that's the big one. I haven't read JoJo, so the titles that I've read from Ultra Jump are 13 Club, Abra, Biomiga, the spin-off of Battle Angelita, uh, Battle Angelita Gaiden, and In The Room, which is ranked in one of the worst manga I read last year. <laughs> 13 Club was also not that good. Abara and Biomega, both Nihi manga that I've t recently talked about that I'm not a big fan of. Uh, and, that, and then we have the, the spin-off of, of Battle Angel Leader, which was, for the most part, pretty good. Everything else is, 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 is either bad or really bad, or at the best just okay. So, I haven't read JoJo's. Maybe JoJo's would rank this one higher. Based on what I, I read from it, it has to go D. It is probably the worst. Uh, we're gonna go through all the others. I think it's probably the worst roster of titles uh, of out of all of these. <laughs> we'll get into that. So those are the, the four jump titles that ranked on the tier list. We're gonna go into Sunday. I only have two Sunday titles. The first one is, of course, Weekly Shonen Sunday, which is the main manga um the main magazine from the sunday line um and the ones that i've read it komi-san can communicate ikora gun con blazing transfer student lost plus brain detective conan ram and a half and the sequel to alice in borderland which is alice in borderland retry sunday is known mainly for detective conan and rumiko a manga which ram and a half inuyasha um, Urusei Yatsura, you know, those kind of manga. I think those are the big main sales from Sunday. Run and a half, I haven't finished. I only read half of it years and years ago, but it was pretty good. And I really want to get more into the other stuff from from the other, and, and eventually finish Ramna. Tative Conan is also really good. I think too, quite big. It is quite big. And in a different way from One Piece, because it's very episodical. 
but that means you can also just kind of like jump into it and and have fun with the title which you really can't with with one piece um and other big boys like it other than that i think kami is also really good ikora is an underrated gem Lost Plus Brain is one of the worst manga I've read, but it's a cancel title. Then Blazing Transfer Student, I think it's one of the most the funniest things I've ever read. So I haven't read a lot of Sunday, especially when, you know, compared to Shonen Jump, but even compared to like Sh Weekly Shonen Magazine we're gonna go through in a little bit, I haven't read a lot of what I've read. It does have some quality. I think... I think we're gonna... Let me, let me just check the list again. Call me some Blazing Transfer Student. Yeah, I think I can put it on A, probably gonna be on the lower ranks of A, but on A. Then we got Sunday Gene X, which is a monthly spin-off of Sunday. Uh, I think this is a seinen magazine, not a shonen one. The titles that I've read from it, yeah, it's a seinen one. Um, the titles I've read from it, it's City of Lights, uh, which is by Inu Asano. Uh, what a Wonderful World is also the debut manga from Inu Asano. German Gond which I don't like that much, I still haven't finished it. And then Alice in Border Road, which is a spin-off of Alice in Borderland. So clearly I have two magazines that have also two spin-offs of Alice in Borderland, but I do not have the magazine with the actual Alice in Borderland in it. Honestly, just for Asano titles, this should get a, a high rank, but it does not have like big hitters from Asano. I think those are kind of like two of the weakest titles from his roster and then Butter World was fun Germer Gun was not so much I think this one gets a B for me maybe yeah behind behind Young Jump because it does not have like a Gantz like Young Jump has so before we move on to the next magazines which is magazine I do want to bring back to the past me and show you guys what I got from Shrine Comics and then we'll get back into the tier list so Take it. Hi, Past Crash here. I hope you've been enjoying the tier list that I've been currently working on. And I just wanted to stop you guys for a little bit to show you what I got. Now, this was sent to me by today's sponsor, which is Shrine Comics, which is a website and a mobile app which, which you can read a bunch of manga-inspired comic books. And they just sent me this, which I think if you like manga magazines, you'll enjoy. Which I hope you do, because you're, you're watching this video. There it is. Shrine Entrance. So this is, and I'm going to show you guys in a little bit more detail in a second. But this is their issue number one uh, physical edition. So this is made to be inspired in manga magazines in Japan and I can show you guys one or two to for you guys to compare and it has something it has <laughs> a huge huge poster of, of all the manga comics that you can find on the app and that I think you can read here, which this has the entire first chapter of each and all of the series that they have uh, ongoing there. And I think I forgot to mention, but the website and everything, the manga, it's all free. You can read it. You don't have to pay for anything, which is, you know, awesome. But yeah, we're going to jump into here. Now, this isn't the most professional uh, <laughs> setting, but yeah, this is the shrine entrance. And I'm going to show you guys the Shonen Jump manga so you can... You guys can compare. So this is a Shonen Jump. Well, first this is a Shonen Jump uh, issue, and this actually is a, a Korokoro comics issue, which is not on tier list. Um, but this is how Korokoro comics looks looks like, uh, and you can see it's it's far more inspired in Shonen Jump from the the title, from the way these things are, uh, the drawings are made. If you want, if you ever looked at a Shonen Jump issue with a cover. You may notice it's very similar to this. So yeah, this is... It has some stickers. More stickers. And then... Yeah, it has just a bunch of like the comics that you can find on their uh, on their website. It's probably even better than like this. So this. This first one is completely like color. Which is cool. But then you get you you kind of go back to the 
to the black and white of manga that you may know. And yeah, you just honestly, <laughs> it's it's pretty cool. I, I really find it incredible that there's a comic book company that is trying to really emulate the style of the manga magazine because we normally we really don't have that here uh we don't have anything of the like if you want something that is similar to Japan japanese manga magazines you either have to buy them uh you know the actual japanese oh and they also have the not really the co the comments but kind of they're uh, the others recommending video games dragon quest chrono trigger <laughs> more dragon quest Yakuza, that's a good game. Paper Mario. They really should recommend Silent Hill, though. Oh, Punch Drunk, which is... I, I really like this one. Punch Drunk is fun. Yeah, you can you can get it from their website. And this is cool, because you can get an idea of, of like all the series. Um, the first chapters. Because I haven't gotten or read all of the first chapters that they have there. And yeah, I mean... Oh, they... Or Shrine suggests movies. More Dragon Quest. <laughs> Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. The others. I really recommend the others as well. Into the Spider-Verse. It's really cool. And yeah, you can see if you like manga, you probably will enjoy this. And if you like, you know, manga magazines. This is, this is again, a fun thing to add to your collection. It is very different uh, from what you'd normally could get and it, it also very different from from you know just normal manga magazines in, in the sense of what it actually is and the fact that it's kind of like a western production so yeah I, I think you guys should check it out link for the website and the app will be on the description below and we're gonna jump back into the tier list and we're back so we're gonna check the magazine which I think is the line I have more stuff from. Well, I mean, I think it's tied with with Shonen Jump because I have like four magazine titles. The first one is, of course, Weekly Shonen Magazine, which I have read probably too much, but let's check it out. I've read Quintessential Quintuplets, again, Ashira no Jo, Good Ending, As God's Will, Part 2. Um, part one is from another one we'll check out. Sound Voice, Lovina, School Rumble, Tsubasa Chronicles, Fairy Tale, and Blue Lock, which again is a lot more than I read from Sunday, and a lot more like really quality titles, titles that I really, really like. I think especially for, for rom coms, magazine is the one to go. And I love rom coms. So the fact that it has Lavina, the fact that it has Good Ending, um, the Quintuplets also. It has a really good roster of, of rom-coms scattered through it through its run. Um, just from that, it automatically deserves an A. But it also has a Shiro no Joe. Blue Lock is amazing. A sound voice. Uh, and then School Rumble. It's about the Chronicles. Fairy Tale, I didn't like. But other than that, I think, again... I mean, again, ended a little bit weirdly. But the first half of Again is amazing. So all these titles are really, really good titles. I think it definitely... It, I think definitely top of A. If, if not, maybe S, but for now I'm going to give it a top of A. Uh, and then we got, I need to check the list here, <laughs> Monthly Shonen Magazine. So in Shonen Jump, that'll be Jump SQ. Jump SQ did not rank for some reason. I don't know what titles I've read from it because I don't have it here. But Weekly Shonen Magazine starts really strong with Akunohana, Beck, Devilman, uh, happiness from Ashimi, I think the other happiness in rank here, As God's Will, Sankareya, Your Line April, and this Spider-Man manga. Honestly, maybe maybe even better than than, <laughs> than the normal weekly. I mean, Akonohana, Beck, Devilman. As God's Will is not as good as As God's Will Part 2. And Sankareya is also really good. Your Line April is, is amazing from the little that I remember from it. And then the Spider-Man manga, uh, which I did a video on, uh, no, I was gonna say recently, but not recently. I mean, almost uh, more than a year ago, but it's also a really good title. Yeah, uh, Devilman is <laughs> weird title, but I, I like it. It definitely goes on A as well. I, I kind of want to keep it dumb together, because I think both of them have really good titles. And then we got Magazine Z, 
which I, from what I saw when I was looking for covers, it does seem to be to have a lot of like Gundam and like Kamen Rider kind of stuff. Not that I've read anything from it. What I've read from Magazine Z was the Furikuri comic uh, or manga adaptation, Makinex Another, and Junji Ito's Cat Diary, which are all like good titles. Makinex Another is interesting. It's not as good as the rest of like Q.I. Ishida titles, that's for sure. It's interesting, it has Q.I. Ishida's like visual storytelling and, and style, which really... It's a wonder to read just for the visuals alone. Junji Ito's Cat Theory I really like because I've kind of related a lot to the cats, and, and seeing Junji Ito do a comedy manga using the same kind of like styles and techniques that he used for her was, was really, really fun. I think that one ranked on the best manga I read from that year video and then the other was Fully Cooly, which I like the manga it's currently serving as a tower for the camera so I'm not gonna show it but uh, I really like the manga I don't think it's better than the anime um, I was gonna say adaptation but the manga is the adaptation of the anime but I really think the, the manga is still really solid despite the fact that a lot of people trash on it I think it does things differently but it, it is fun nonetheless so I think it has decent titles but not anything like big or anything that i really good and like like i really like this so i want to put it on b as well then magazine pocket which is from what i saw the week the shonen jump plus of magazine so the digital magazine and what i read from that was gall cleaning which is awful <laughs> especially the well i mean the, the ending was awful i think up to that point was okay but if, if you know you know i'm not gonna dwell too much in it as god's will zero which is just a really short spin-off of his god will and then spider-man fake red which is a more recent spider-man manga which got cancelled it was okay i don't think it was anything that amazing yeah i don't think it has anything good <laughs> i mean i mean fake red is good it's got will zero is is okay for what it is can really complain um but it, this one has to be the first c i think i don't i don't think it's d but i think it's definitely c if not bottom of c then we have shonen gangan which was actually the second manga magazine that I've ever heard of, and that's because it has Full Metal Alchemist and Soul Eater, which were kind of like two of the big, big titles that were going on when I started re uh, reading manga and watching anime back in 2008, 2009. It was the big three, it was Full Metal, it was Soul Eater, it was Death Note and Reborn, so most of the things were either Shonen Jump, and then we had like really big, big titles from Gangan that were like happening at that point. Sadly, however, once you go past Full Metal Alchemist and once you go past Soul Eater, the rest of the roster that I've read, at least from, is not anything good. I got 666 Satan, which is the manga by the twin brother of Kishimoto from Naruto fame, which is as generic as they come. We have Doubt, which is a really, really bad horror manga. We have Kingdom Hearts Chains of Memories, which is a spin off of Kingdom Hearts, which is a retelling of the game. It is okay, it is decent. But it is a spin-off of a game, it's nothing really amazing. We got Red Raven, uh, which is a generic and painfully boring battle shown as well. Then again, Full Metal Alchemist and Soul Eater. So it, it gets points from having those two, but everything else does not, really does not stand. So um, I think it goes on B. I think, I think I'm gonna put it on top of E just, again, because of Full Metal Console Leader, because those, those titles are really, really big, are really, really good. Then we got Gangan Online, which is shown uh, Jump Plus and Magazine Pocket version of, of Gangan. And this one has actually really, really good titles, which I did not knew it had. It has Watamote, which is, it's not, um, it's you guys' fault I'm not popular, which is, it sounds weird, and I know most people probably know the beginning of the manga, but it gets really, really good later on. It has Barakamon, which is an amazing slice of life that a lot of people really, really love. Daily Lives of High School Boys, which is really, really funny. Zayek Ten from the same mangaku is also really, really funny. Birdcage Castle, which is a quite original and really uh, interesting, like, that came manga. And then you got 
Life is Money, which is a, a bad that game manga, and Kimito Kami. Kimi, Kimito Kamihi Kokito, which is a four coma, really kind of like boring four coma that I read, which is, isn't anything special, but the rest of it is like, it, it kicks the, the main magazine completely. Like, just the fact that it has Barack Mondo loves of high school boys and Watamori and. And even Birdcage Castle, Castle, which is not famous, but I, if you if you get a chance to read it, if you're looking for a, that game manga to read, definitely check it out because it's it, it's good because it's it, it's quite good. But it, it it goes to go it goes against a lot of the tropes. I'm gonna have to put it on a. Um, I think it deserves it. And then we got Young Gangan, the seinen version of Gangan. You get the point. They're all kind of like the same. Young Gangan has overbleed. EB2 and Reset, which are like three random seinen manga that I read. I think EB2 is the most famous because it's a horror manga magazine, no, horror manga that is okay, it's fun, It not fun, I mean it's kind of fun, it's fine, Overbleed it was okay, Reset it was decent, I don't think any of these manga were amazing, um, or even like Good. They're just like they're they're not bad. They're they're okay. I'm gonna put it on C. And then we got Weekly Shonen Champion, which is the home of Yoshimitsu Pedal. I think that's the name of the thing that is on the cover here. And then, of course, Baki, which I think is the main big Shonen Champion title. I haven't read Yoshimitsu Pedal though, but I've read Baki, and that is amazing. I love Baki. Uh, and then I got Alabaster. Which is the title from uh, Osamu Tezuka, which Osamu Tezuka has a bunch of like titles from Shonen Champion. We've got Biomic Nectar, which I've talked about on the channel before. It's a really, really good uh, horror manga. I really love it. I think it's very, very underrated. Kyuri Hyani from, uh, from Go Nagai, which is fun. It's no Devil Man, but it is fun. If you like Go Nagai's kind of stories, you're gonna love Kyuri Hyani. Um, and Fun Notani Plus. Which is a bad horror manga, but not as bad as the Fuane Notani, the main one, the, the, the first one. Fuane Notani Plus is a sequel. It does improve some of the things of the, the first one. It's overall a bad manga, though. And then Shonen Achi, which is a cancelled manga that I thought was actually pretty, pretty good from the same mangaka of My Monster Secret or something like that. This is the one rom com about monsters where the cover is all the girls going like this. Um, which is, again, that one was really, really good. Really, really fun. But then it got cancelled. 40, 50 chapters into it. Which is such a pity. But overall, I think it has really good titles. It has no Sunday, nor magazine, nor uh, Shonen Jump in, ter in terms of like popularity. But it, I think it does deserve a good rating. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on A. Maybe for us, uh, of Sunday, because I think I read a lot more stuff that I like from Champion that I actually read from, from Sunday. So afterwards we got Young Champion Magazine, the same one, you get the point. We got Alien 9, Mangetsu Kitten, and Tsundume. I think like all of these titles are pretty good. Alien 9 is really, really strange. I plan to do a video on, on why I think that's mostly due to the paneling. And overall it's an interesting manga. I don't think it, it, it it's one that I love, but it's one that I kind of respect. And Tsundume I really, really like. I think it's, it's really interesting, really, really great seinen manga. In style of, of one that we're going to be talking more towards the end of this video, that I am quite passionate about. Then Mangetsu Kitten, Mangetsu Kon Kitten is a rom-com that is very much like Lovina in a lot of things, but with kind of like monsters, um, which I thought was really a fun read at least. It wasn't like anything amazing. It wasn't no Lovina. But it was a pretty fun read. I was really happy that I read it because I don't know. I like the the old like two thousands rom coms, and this definitely was one of it. I think I I kind of want to put it on A. I think Sundome just just kind of like puts it on A by its by itself. And then we got Champion Red, the last of the Champion line. We got Change One to Three, Frank and Friend, and the original Funotani, which is again really bad. But then Change One to Three is again a really fun rom com from the 2000s that I really, really loved reading when I read it. I kind of want to go back to it and reread it because it has been a long, long time since I read that. 
but I remember like the, the entire concept of this is a etchy rom-com like this is an RM rom-com where all the girls are actually just like different sides and different personalities of this one girl which led to the characters like the, the duo getting involved in a relationship pretty early and it still made sense to be an RM manga where these characters were, were dating is very hard to pull overall it was really fun Frank and Friend I love it is probably one of the best dark comedy manga out there. It is such an interesting corruption of the Raimon. Would I prefer Red over Young? Because Fuanatani, again, it's a really bad manga. It kind of like ruins it. But the other two, men, I, 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 I gotta put it here as well. Just for the other two. It's kind of unfair because <laughs> with only three manga, it's really easy for one of them to just kind of like overcome. And I might like fix the, this list at the end so we get a better idea uh, of what the list looks like. Then we're gonna move to some seinen lines. We got afternoon, uh, or actually afternoon and morning. We also, it's also evening, um, but evening didn't rank here because the only thing I read from evening was um, Kasane, which is enough to put it on S tier, honestly, but because I've only read one of it, it doesn't rank. So afternoon has five centimeters per, se per second, Eden, It's a Wonderful World, Oshinoko, The God's Light, Parasite, Little Forest, Luku Luku, Majime Jakizen, Mysterious Girlfriend X, Wiki, Yokohama Kaidashi, Kiko, Mushishi, and Villain Saga. So I read a lot of Afternoon. And this is one where I was talking about with Young Jump, where Young Jump does not compare to Afternoon. Like, Yokohama Kaidashi, Kiko, Villain Saga, Eden, I mean, is amazing, Mysterious Girlfriend X, it's... I, I think I kind of jumped Oshinoko, uh, The God's Lie. Did I mention all of these? I kind of just forgot. Parasite's also really, really good. Little Forest is not as cool. Look, look is really interesting take on kind of like a Yatsuba kind of manga. But overall, this one has really, really good titles. I might put it... I think I want to put it in S tier. I think it has a lot of really good stuff to warrant an S tier title. Uh, rank. I mean, if you have any problem with that, just tell me which of these manga sucks. Five centimeters per second the movie, I remember being better. The God's Lie, I don't remember. And again, Little Forest is the one that I'm kind of like, just didn't like. But everything else is really, really good. I think Suiki is kind of forgotten. It's by Simangaka's Mushishi. And it's not talked as much as it should. Especially having in mind the mangaka that, you know, that it is. But then we have Morning, and Morning has Billy Bat, so S here as well. Eternal Sabbath, which is okay. I still think it was a little too much monster without being it to for me to like. Uh, Forget Me Not, which is by Simangaka's Memories of Eminon, but I did not like Forget Me Not at all. Then Gone, which is an interesting manga. Uh, completely silent. I thought it was fun. I think Gone selection is a little bit better because it has the best chapters from Gone. And Gone has a lot of like things that I didn't care too much. Then we got Planets, which is from the same mangaka as Villain Saga, which is quite, quite good. And then Wendy, which is by Jiro... I forgot his name. He, he has published like, also Freezy and things like that. I, I really like his manga. Morning has a, a couple more of like duds in there. But um, it also has really, really good manga that I really love, especially like Billy Bat. So I think it deserves an 8 here. It, it's not an S tier. I'm gonna put it on top of A. Maybe, maybe below Shonen Magazine. But yeah, and then we got the big comic. We got the big comic Origins. Or, or not Origins, Big Comic Original. Which is actually not the first big comic. There's one that's just called Big Comic, but I did not read enough manga from it to be on the list. But from Big Comic Original, I read The Cats of the Louvre. I read Monster. Mujirushi, Naza, and Pluto. So four out of these are from Naki Urasawa. Um, and Big Comics is really the home of, of uh, Urasawa. Big Comic had Monster, and then the others, besides Billy Bat, which is on Morning, which is just talked about, but the others mostly are um, in the other Big Comic we'll be talking about in a little bit. But yeah, I really love Big Comic, and Big Comic Original, even though it's not my favorite, it has... It just has its... What is what is it here? Wait, maybe Naza is not amazing. It's a one-shot collection. But everything else just 
either a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. I'm not going to put it on S tier, but I'm going to put it on A. I'm going to put it top of A. And then we got Big Comics Original. Big Comics Original, not Big Comics Spirits. Big Comics Spirits is the best manga magazine out there. I, I think it's better than, than, um, than Weekly Shonen Jump. Yes, I think it's better than Weekly Shonen Jump. Uh, it is the magazine that has published the most 10 out of 10s of my lists. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you the titles that I've read from it, so you, you guys can check out the quality that this magazine has. It has 20th Century Boys, Arigato, Believers, Black Paradox, Dead Dead Demons, Dead Dead, Dead Destructions, Omunculus, Goodnight Pum Pum, Ping Pong, Risk Sentiment, Saikana, Takemitsu Zamurai, Uzumaki, I Am a Hero, Buzz, Busy Noise, and I Doubt. So some of these are not that popular, I think Buzz, uh, Buzzy Noise, it's an okay manga, it, it was a, a fun read. It's not that, that popular. Resentment should be more popular than it is. Um, Black Paradox is a, a Junji Ito manga. It, it's fun. Then Believers in Arigato. The manga itself is Nakio Yamamoto is kind of well known, uh, mostly because of Arigato. It has I think it's more well known as a whole than the individual manga, but his manga really really good. And then yeah, everything else is just like big titles. Like I know I don't like. It's the only title in here that I'm outright just don't like. Then Hideout, I think um, Mass Man has been talking, uh, wondered about it recently. Um, he actually, we talked about it on a video of mine a couple of years ago when I he was gonna read it. He hadn't read it by then. I also read it again. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in the list. I don't think it's amazing. I definitely don't like it as much as he does. But um, I still think it's a decent one. But I mean, compared to everything else in here, it, it deserves Ness here. Uh, it, it, it really is the manga magazine with the most quality that I've seen out there. It is... It is goddamn amazing. It just is. And so the other ones on this list are kind of like loose. <clears throat> Some of these are part of lines that I've only read this one in particular. Some others are just kind of like loose manga or if they're part of any line I'm not aware of. And we're gonna start with Young Animal, which is probably most well known for Berserk. And I also read Blaster Knuckle from it and Honeymoon Salad. Honeymoon Salad was was a fun rom-com drama. Maybe fun wasn't the, the good word, but I even don't really remember too much of it. I remember really liking it when I read it. And then Blaster Knuckle is really just kind of like what I assume like a troll Berserk is. It's, it, it is berserk if it Guts was a black dude trying to kill KKK members. It's weird, it's strange, it's not that good. It, it is kind of fun, however, and it has like the levels of gore of berserk, which if you like that you may really like Blaster Knuckle. Other than berserk, a young animal also really isn't known for a lot of um, anything else. So I think it goes on B. Stackful in the middle, I think. And then we got Gato. Uh, Gato is an alternative manga magazine. It's quite popular in the West among, not among manga fans, but among like comic book fans, like alternative comic book fans. Gato is talked about a lot. And from what I've read from it, it makes sense because you don't read Gato to read manga or what you normally see manga be. It's really surreal, it's really experimental, weird, strange, dark. And so the titles I've read from it is Palepoli, and it's Kazuishi Shoki Sakuin Shishu, which is a one-shot collection by Anhawa Kazuishi, and Nenji Goku, which I read so I could include Goro on this list. Honestly, I read it a little while ago, like a couple of hours ago. It's really strange, like all of these, like the, the second one, the, the, the first one-shot collection, it's kind of like a, a predecessor of Eroguro, and Eroguro really thrived in Garo. So just to have a little bit of an idea of what kind of manga reigned in this magazine. Really strange stuff. I think it. I'm gonna put it on A just for how interesting it is to read their stuff. It is really a man uh, magazine that really lives on its own. And it, there's a lot of like uh, manga from, or well, mangaka from Garo that went on to do and publish another alternative manga magazines. I don't think any of them are in here, but Garo still remains probably one of the most popular stuff out there. And I really wanted to include it in this list because of it. 
And then we got Koro Koro Comics, which is there. I also showed it in the, the sponsor segment of this show, of this video, of this show. If you haven't seen it, go see it. And it's a Kuromo Muki manga magazine. So it, it is for little kids. It's the only Kuromo Muki magazine here. The titles that I read from it were the Crash Bandicoot manga, the Pokemon manga, and the Sonic manga, as well as the Among Us and Shrek one shot so as you can see it's it's mostly like stuff from video games and movies and and, and stuff like that it is filled with gangs it is not enjoyable for the most part <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i don't think i've ever ranked uh, koro koro comics that high i really like doraemon which i never read the manga from but i've grew up with the anime, the Raimon and the things like the, the older stuff tended to be different in the way that it, it was done in terms of like Kodomo Muki manga. Nowadays, like with with the, the, the IP reign of Kodomo Muki manga, I don't care. I mean, I'm always interested in seeing like these titles that I've grew up with being adapted into manga, like Shrek. Sonic, you know, Crash Bandicoot, I'm, I'm, I'm Crash, so why shouldn't I read the Crash Bandicoot manga? I'm also like interested in it, a lot of these manga I wouldn't recommend it even to fan. I don't, I don't want to put it on D, but I'm gonna put it on C, on the bottom of C. Uh, and then, I don't know what that one is, Comic Burs, which I think is an alternative uh, manga magazine because it has Itsuji no Uda, The Music of Marie, and then Tokyo Akazukin. Which I don't recommend reading. It is a weird Hiroguro style, kind of like a lolly weird. It is don't don't read it. I read it to see if I could stomach it, stomach it. I which I could, I could, but I still don't recommend it to people. It is not worth the read. The music of Marie, however, is really really good. And then it's Suji no thing, the Song of the Lambs. I think that's the oh the Song of the Lambs. It was okay. It was an interesting manga. Not as good as the as, as song of Music of Marie, however. I think Music of Marie puts on B. Even though Tokyo at Sujin is definitely again dumb. <laughs> and then the other is Comic Bunch. There's a bunch of like comic That was not unintentional. There's a lot of like manga magazines just called like comic this, comic that, manga this, manga that. So Comic Bunch has 51 ways to save my girlfriend, which is by some of Ruya, which is the music of Marie also is. My Girl and Our Happy Sours, which are both from the same mangaka. And then Zeno no Noah, which was a really bad manga with a light ripoff as the main character, which I hate. My Girl was okay, or Happy Sours, I was really, really like it back when I read it. Uh, I don't think I would like it as much nowadays. And if you don't want to save my girlfriend was was another one that I really liked. This is my first Furia manga. It is really not experimental. Has a lot of his other stuff. It is, reads is more like a normal seinen manga. Besides Zeno no Noah again, I think the other ones are fine. I'm not like super excited with any of these. 51 ways to save my girlfriend maybe. Um, but I think I'm gonna put it on B. And then, I, this one, now, now I'm, I really need to check my phone because I don't remember all of, none of these titles. Uh, Dragon Age, which has Ice School of the Dead, Karin, and Variante. Karin is also known as Chibi Vampire, which is a fun manga. I feel like it had one of the worst panelings I've seen uh, in terms of like the way that it the, the balloons were structured and you were supposed to read it really. It's something that you don't notice when it's well made and most of the manga is well made but when it's badly done god you, you, you can tell and i could tell it but overall the story and the characters were fun and uh, i enjoyed reading it nonetheless uh ice Club of the dead is ice Club of the dead i still don't don't care about it it is i there's a lot of like edgy rom-coms that i really like but when it's just like full-on edgy i just i don't care it's not really that i hate because i feel like it will be hypocrite to hate that because again I read a lot of edgy stuff, but I just don't care. And then the other was Variante, which is a, a decent horror-esque kind of manga. I would rank it higher than Ice School of the Dead. I don't know. I think C. I don't think any of these were really that amazing. Uh, and then I got the first, and I think only, Josie magazine. And then there's only also one Shoujo magazine. I'm sorry about that. The ones that I read of Shoujo and, and Josie were kind of like scattered across a bunch of, of manga magazines, so I didn't... Most of them didn't end up in this list. But, um, Fellows. Uh, not Fellows. Fellows is the next one. Phil Young has 
really good titles as Gozen 3G, Gozen Sanji, uh, Ibari no Aza, which is quite, quite good. I really recommend reading Ibari no Aza if you haven't yet. Uh, Itai Taishi Love, which is a one shot compilation that I thought was decent. Natsuki Renden Voz, which. Renden Voz? Which I really like, especially like the second half of the manga, I thought it was really interesting. Sound Blue, which is also really good, Josie manga. You can read, most of these you could read like a, a day. White Notepad, which uh, I think is the one in the cover that are, I wasn't that big of a fan of. Then Elder Skelter, which I liked. I, I liked Pink more, which is from the same manga, of same mangaka, but not in this magazine. But Elder Skelter is also really, really good. So I think this honestly feels like the, the go-to Jose magazine. And I'm, I'm definitely, like I wasn't aware of, of what manga magazines that I've read my Jose stuff from. I'm definitely gonna be looking for more manga from Phil Young and, and see if I can find more stuff that I like. Um, as where it ranks, it definitely goes into A. It goes here, in the middle, in the middle. Then Fellows, which has also a decent amount of like good stuff. From whom the Silt Tools, which I think is really uh, underrated manga. I thought it was, it's one of those we can read in like 40 minutes, but I thought it was, was quite an interesting read. Then we got Ran of the, Ran and the Grey World, or Ran of the Grey World, which is like visually, it's beautiful. One of the best, of the most beautiful manga I've read. It's fantastic. And then I got, I'm from Sakamoto, which is really, really fun. Um, it's, it's really, really funny as well. And then Oh My Sweet Alien, which I haven't finished, but I have it physically there. And it's, it's a really fun manga as well. Um, I should finish it. Um, it's it's nothing really amazing, but it, it's for what it is, and it's a short read. It, it's 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 fun. I think this goes on A. Uh, I like all the titles there, so there is no reason for it to not go on A. Then Iki, which is the home of Doro Hedor, which I found out about Hiki. It does say, well, I got stuff on cover on, on front of it, but it does say Hiki in the spines where it normally says like Shonen Jump, um, which I think it, it it's pretty fun. I don't know any other like physical, I mean, Children of the Sea and which is maybe says as well, which is the other two manga that I read. I don't really like Children of the Sea. I really don't like witches. Um, I really don't like this mangaka. I forgot his name or her name. I don't know. Uh, which is also the same mangaka that wrote Little Forest. Then also it's like Sweet, which I don't remember, but then Nickelodeon, which is a really fun manga. Freezio, which is amazing. Freezio really, really is, is, is super good. And then, Happy, and then Happiness from Osamu Furuya, which is not the happiness from uh, Oshimi. This is like a one-shot compilation that uh, was okay. Wasn't anything too amazing. Now I'm not gonna put it on S here, despite having Dorodon and Freezia, because those, just having those two should, uh, put them on an S here, but it does have like some duds here. But I think it overall still deserves an A here. I think I think it does. My voice is dying, but we still have four more to go, and we got manga action next. And manga action, I have read Seventeen Sai is a good manga, but having in mind what it's based on. It is really, really tough read, especially having in mind that it is based on real events. Oshi Mamaru Ino and Oshi Mamaru in Zoku Oshi Mamaru no Ino, which I have the physical edition in Portuguese for the first one, which is is really a short, really good story about like a dog and the owner. And it's really, really sad, of course, because stories with dogs always horror. Then got Old Boy, which is the, the the movie Old Boy. It's actually an adaptation of this manga. I've never seen the movie, but the manga is really, really good. And I've only said, like, from people that have read the manga and have watched the movie, all of them say that the movie is, is even better, so I kind of want to check it out. Then Town of Evening Calm, which is a really sad, but also really, really good uh, manga. I know that the sequel of it, which I haven't read, is was adapted into a movie. This is like the life of a, of a woman in Japan after the bombings in World War II. Again, it's really, really sad, but really, really good. Some of these are heavy, heavy stuff, but um, really, really good stuff. So I think this is another one on A. And then we got Manga Erotics F, which has Benchi Tomadara and Nanisan, which is a really bizarre one-shot, like very sexual Yuri one-shot collection. 
Netsutaino Citron and Girl on the Shore from Iniwasano. I want to put this on S. Even though the fact that, like, this has mangak that I really like. It does not have the best work from them. I would arguably say that none of these are, like, amazing. They're really good, but they're not amazing. I'm gonna put it on A here. No, top of A, top of A. And then we got Monthly Margaret, which is the shoujo manga magazine of the list. <laughs> and I've read very, very few stuff. I've read Chocolate Underground, which I remember not liking a lot. But Irwin Shikaku, which was quite fun. I forgot a lot of it by now, but I remember quite liking it. And Strobe Edge, which is the first shoujo manga that I read that I remember. I really like it. I remember really, really liking Strobe Edge. Irwin Shikaku. If I remember more of it, Maybe what I've ranked it higher, but I think I'm gonna put monthly on B. We need more Bs here. And then the final one we got Shonen Ace. We're gonna start on Shonens, we're gonna hand it on a Shonen. We got Dead Man Wonderland, Nobody Can Hear Me But You, Macro 7 Trash, Mirai Nikki, Negative Happy, Chinso Edge, Welcome to the NHK, Ragnarok, and the Girl Lip Who Could Leap Through Time. This one is weird because Welcome to the NHK is amazing. Uh, it was one of the first manga that I read and it really stayed with me. Negative Happy Chainsaw Edge is not as good, but it's by the same mangaka, or the same writer, I think. Um, I remember liking it, not as much as Welcome to NHK. The Girl Who Through Time was fun, but it's not as good as the movie, which is actually one of my favorite anime movies of all time. Ragnarok, I remember not caring too much about. Macross 7 Trash was... eh. I'm not familiar with Macross, so reading a spin-off also didn't do much from it. Nobody can hear me, but you remember liking it. I think there's a movie or a novel about it. And then Dead Man Wonderland and Mirai Nikki are two that are very connected to me because they're I read them more or less the same time. Both of them are like this shonen battle. Uh, that came horror manga mix. I remember liking both of them at the time. Mirai Nikki, I still don't like the ending. I still don't care about the, the Yandere character, which is the, the main selling point of Mirai Nikki. I think there was a better female character there. The, I don't remember her name, but the one with the eye patch, I think, thought it was so much better. And then when Wonderland, I really love Chiro. It's one of my favorite characters even now. Just overall, in terms of design, in terms of character, in terms of like both personalities of, of her. I really don't think I'd, I'd like the Dead Man Wonderland if I read it now. But I really loved it back then. So it's kind of like a mixture where I think 19 year old me would put Chun and Ace on, on S tier. But then I think if I go back and read most of these manga, because most of these manga I read it years ago, I think if I went back to them, I would not love it as much as I would, uh, as I did. So I, I kind of want to put it on B. Top of B. And yeah, that was the list. I hope you liked the tier list. I am a little bit tired. My voice is kind of dying since the beginning, which is weird. But uh, I had fun. I hope you guys had too. Uh, I'm going to actually put a video on the left, which is one of my very, very first videos. So it's going to be a little bit rough, but it is actually the story of Manga Magazine. So if you want to know how Manga Magazine started and what were they like in the, you know, in the late 1880s, go check it out. And if you watch it till here, thank you very much. And I'll see you next video.